don't want to go too small. Maybe it's not. <laughs> I went a little bit too far. Uh, good morning. My name is uh, Walter L. Robinson, and uh, I advocate uh, water shoes. Uh, and uh, I want to say uh, hello to Miami. I'm going to get this right. Miami International University, Department of uh, Architecture. And uh, morning to the professor there and the professor came right off. Uh, and all of your students, your students of uh, architecture and the, the general, uh, the, the, the general university, and uh, all of that. What, who am I and what am I? Uh, I uh, walk on water, and I saw your film, uh, and that I've, I've seen it for several years, and I've been trying to contact you guys for several years, and maybe. Uh, Maybe that's one thing. Another, I don't know the electronics. Hopefully, hopefully this this one gets uh, through. Um, uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, uh, I spent a lot of years in water walking. I walked the, uh, the the Panama Canal. That's 50 some miles through the Panama Canal. You know, I was in the military down in Panama back in the uh, early 70s. Uh, I also walked the uh, English Channel here again. Stationed in Germany, you know, catch the train, go down to Dover, and I walked the English Channel. Uh, the English Channel in 1978. But uh, ever since then, I've uh, written some books on this and done some other stuff. And uh, so I'm, I'm living. This film is being taken while well, I'm living in Okinawa, Japan, right now, as this film is being filmed. But my permanent home is in Orlando, Florida, so I'm about uh, a few hours away from you guys, you know, down on, a, I guess that's Interstate 4 or what. Anyway, uh, you know, a little GPS, you, you know, and, and, I, and I have family down there, so I can, you know, every once in a while I drive down there, so I can come and visit you guys and maybe do, um, do a Saturday morning or Saturday you want you know a, a hard lecture and a workshop, you know, and and get you guys up to speed on on water shoes and what's water shoes all about. Uh, I have water shoes in the background here, and uh, if you looked at some of my earlier films, you'll see this. And hopefully, this film, this piece, we're going to send directly to one of your in outlets, uh, international YouTube outlets, so you can you know pick it up, and then it's. We're going to refer you back to a lot of my previous films or pieces. I think I've, I have about 400 pieces on on YouTube and uh, on my water site, The Water Shoe, a serious work. And uh, you can look at what I've been doing over the last, say, 40, 30, 30 some, 30, 35 years or so on water shoes. Um, Water shoes is interesting uh, because uh, a lot of people uh, thought this is a new idea. This is a new fresh idea and all that. But it's been around ever since the, uh, the raft has been around. Now, we got some shoes in the background there, and we'll be talking about that a little bit. Um, what we're going to try to do, uh, we, we looked at your film. Make sure everybody know what's going on. At least I do. Okay. Go on. Okay. over the last four or five years and we noticed you guys are still into uh, tape this this duct tape you know and uh, duct tape is good and all that and all that but uh, the physics and the, and the especially school of, of architecture you know design and all that what's what, what's a, 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 a better simpler lighter less expensive way of doing things uh, more modern and more expressive, more uh, uh, cosmetic, you know, a little more intellectual, a little more reflect your uh, your school and your ideas and all this stuff, and all the good stuff. It's not but a few of uh, uh, 
the serious water walkers on the planet. And I like to call myself uh, a serious water walker. Here in, here in Okinawa, we teach school. Uh, uh, the wife teaches uh, school here. And, and so we're into the academic, uh, or, well, in this film anyway, we want to express more the academic part of, uh, of walking on water mainly for, uh, for, for your students and, you know, we get into this university flavor. Maybe you guys could, um, well, I'm in the States during the summer. Uh, and, and maybe we'll retire here in Okinawa and come back. And we'll, we're, like I said, we already have our house there in Orlando, um, uh, in, 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 in the, the Orlando area. And so we can, you know, maybe you guys can invite us down to do a lecture and this and that. I think I've already said that. Maybe I'm, <laughs> maybe we're getting old. I don't know, you know. Um, but the water shoes been around, like we said, ever since the rap. So that's uh, uh, thousands of years. Uh, we found a date and time and point and place in history uh, where this thing uh, originated at, or at least the at least the uh, written uh, orientation of it, the document documentary orientation. And uh, the thing comes, the water shoe is coming out of China, uh, down on the Yangtze, Yangtze River and uh, a couple of the river tributaries. And they've, uh, they use them to push bamboo down the rivers and they sell the bamboo further down the river. So the Wranglers made these rafts and they split them down the middle. They make a raft and they split it down the middle and so they can move uh, each piece independently of the other in a walking motion so they can get into the high grasses and, and uh, retrieve the bamboo, you know, that, that went astray and they retired and float it, float it down the river. The rivers and the rivers and uh, the uh, tri tributaries to the rivers, the, 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 the shallow streams and, and all of this. Um, we also can expand a little bit and look at the water shoe as being an early ski, an early uh, s snow ski, or uh, we're in Florida, the water ski. The water ski early on was thicker and bigger and it floated and using uh, uh, a bit of a, a stick punt to push, push the ski w with the operator on it down uh, shallow swamps and marsh and bog and quicksand and, uh, and all the rest of it. So, uh, decide, and then, you know, when you get into thicker stuff, they're able to walk over bog and swamp and all this until they get out in open water. Then they connect the things together or have a bit of a cord to connect the thing together. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Although all of this has been expressed in our other films, 400 pieces is scattered out, but we want to do a little introductory to the uh, uh, your university because you guys, of course, do water shoes, and there are a lot of other people over the planet that do water shoes. In Malaysia, the, the, the university students down there, they write me every once in a while and they're doing water shoes, and they ask, how can we make it better, uh, faster? stronger, cheaper, and all that. And so, because it's the university, this is what we're gonna try to do in the next uh, few pieces. But this is, like I said, this is more or less a letter to uh, Miami International uh, University, and I hope I got that right, Department of uh, Architecture. And uh, 